Hey everyone, I'm going to go through a couple of practice problems that you might find in your practice today. Um, so in each of these problems, you're going to see a variable and you're going to be using the order of operations, um, but in reverse. So this first example, we have the variable here is T. Um, and our operations here are multiplication right here and addition right here. So if we were to solve this problem normally, we would use the order of operations, which you all know as PEMDAS, right? And remember that multiplication and division are grouped together and addition and subtraction are grouped together. Um, so if we were to solve this just the way it is and we knew what T was, we would do what's inside the parentheses first because P is first. However, since we are working backwards to solve for T, we're going to start on the right side of PEMDAS, um, which tells us that we're actually going to do multiplication, right? If we were going this way, we would do multiplication before parentheses if we're going in reverse. So, we want to get rid of this two, this times two. So we are going to do the reverse or the inverse, which is division. We're going to divide both sides by two. So this is just one. So that goes away and 10 divided by two is five. Now we're left with T plus one right from here. T plus one equals five. Now it's just a one step equation. So we do the inverse of addition, which is subtraction on both sides. And we get our answer. T is equal to five minus one, which is four. That's our final answer. So in this example, even though the variables on the other side of the equal sign, we still solve it the same way. So here we have multiplication. And here we have subtraction. According to PEMDAS going backwards, um, subtraction goes before multiplication, which is here. Um, and actually, I'm going to rewrite this so it looks a little bit different. We use a commutative property here. So this subtraction actually just means that this 2b is negative. So I'm going to use a commutative property and put it on the left side. And this 4 is positive, so that goes on the right side. There. And now I have an addition. But addition is still before multiplication if we go backwards. I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. Oops, let me fix that. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And over here, four minus four is just zero. Should bring this down. All right, so we have two times B. So we're gonna do the inverse of multiplication, divide both sides by negative two. So I can get B by itself. That is one, so it just goes away. So I need to do the same thing on the other side. Negative two divided by negative two is positive one. Over here, same thing. So it, it helps to have the variable first by using the commutative property. So I'm going to swap these two like that. And then we have multiplication and addition. Again, addition comes first if we're going this way with the order of operations. So that means I need to take care of that first. Whoops, before. Four minus four is zero, and eight minus four is four. We could just bring the two K down. Only thing we have left is to divide both sides by two. But that cancels, so we get K equals four divided by two, which is two. And then the last one, we already have the variable here on the left side, so we're good to go. So we have multiplication and subtraction going backwards subtraction 
comes before multiplication. So we need to take care of that first. To do the inverse. All right, so negative six and positive six cancel each other out and nine plus six is 15. You can bring the three Y down. Okay, now do the inverse of multiplication here, which is division and we get y equals 5, right? 15 divided by 3, and that's it.